So guys, welcome back to the Kelly and Carly Vlogs channel and today I'm going to be doing a Draw My Life. So this has been super highly requested for ages and I've been putting it off because I'm really not good at art. So you'll see that as my drawings go along, but I thought I'd give you an insight into a little bit of my life so you guys can get to know me better. So here we go. So on May 23rd, uh, I was a May baby in the summer, 1995, I was born and I think I was like seven pounds or something. So I was a pretty big baby compared to my big brothers who were Ryan and Scott. So they were four years old when I was born and there's my mom and there's my dad and they were super happy that I was born because they wanted a girl and they're really bad stick figures <laughs> and there's Ryan and Scott. So they were only four when I was born, I was super little and and they were really good big brothers and they were kind of hoping for a boy i think but i think it was okay that it was a girl oh gosh so when we grew up we were in a house and it was in a small town in mead in county ireland and it was semi-detached it wasn't that small but it was pretty nice but there was loads of kids on the road who used to play together all the time and it was kind of hard though because they were mainly boys but there was one girl who became my best friend and her name was amy she was so nice and we became best of friends and my hair was super curly by the way that was me the other little stick figure <laughs> i had super curly hair when i was growing up but when I was seven years old my parents decided that we should move to Spain they were had a company that involved business over there and I was super sad because I had to leave but I was excited about being in the Sun and having some ocean and swimming pools but I left my very sad friend best Amy best friend Amy behind even so it was nice that it was sunny and everything but I was a bit sad so when we got to Spain we lived on a golf course and it was really cool I mean it was like a resort and it was super nice and there was little playgrounds and stuff and we lived in houses and apartments we kind of moved around quite a bit and our school though was about an hour away it was super far away from where we lived so we had to go an hour every day on this bus with loads of different students that went to our school in the same area and we'd have to go an hour on a bus every day just to get to our school so all all the friends I made in school were like living super far away. On my first day of school, I was nervous to say the least. I was a little pale Irish girl going into a Spanish school with all these crazy students. But my brothers Ryan and Scott were a lot more confident because they were a bit older than me. So they were like happy enough to go in because they had classes together where I was on my own. So I cried all my first day because I didn't know anyone. And of course, no hablo español at the time. I could not speak Spanish at all. I was only seven and I'd only moved there. So it was pretty crazy at that time. But then I got made some friends on the playground who were super, super nice in my class. And I will always remember them like Carlos and Pablo and a couple other girls. And I finally learned some Spanish by talking to them as well. And it was really awesome. So I made some friends, which was really, really great. But while we were living in Spain, Ryan and Scott were always tall, but they took a growth spurt. They became like six foot overnight. And I stayed a really, really small kid. So no one ever believes that we're brothers and sisters. It's kind of crazy. Two years later then, oh gosh, so I was still pretty sad living in Spain. I had made friends, but not like I had back in Ireland. And I was pretty sad, like a lot of the time. And I told my parents that I was super sad. I was nine years old and I didn't really want to live in Spain anymore. And I asked if we could move home. And Ryan and Scott weren't sure about it because they had a really great time living in Spain. But we decided to move home and we moved back to our hometown anyway. So we took the flight home. Ryan and Scott would have been a better. 13 and I was 9 so they were teenagers and that's a very bad drawing of Ireland sorry about that I actually am not so unpatriotic <laughs> but we moved home to Ireland and it was great I was so happy because I was finally back on home turf I didn't have to deal with the big sun sun burning me and my course my friend Amy was super happy to see me and yeah we were both 9 years old but she was a little bit older so she was 10 which was really great so I started primary school and finally, I made great pals with loads of girls. I had Megan, Kira, Sophie, all my friends that I'm still friends with to this day now. And I was so happy to be back with all my friends that I grew up with. Then, when I was 13 years old, this is where it gets a little bit weird. Well, not weird, but a little bit sad. So when I was 13 years old, I noticed that my parents were fighting loads 
and they decided that the best thing for them to do would be for them to get a divorce. So they split up when I was around 13, but it was okay because they were much happier apart, which is great. So it was my mom, me, Ryan and Scott and we were all super happy living together and of course I went and saw my dad a lot as well and it was really, really great. So then when I was 17 years old or around 16 or 17, I got my first ever job and I was studying for exams, which was not great. So I was studying for my exams, my final secondary school exams, which is called the Leaving Cert over here. And I was stressed out loads. And then when I was around 18, I had to do the exams, which was no good. But I was working away. I had a job in a bar in my local town, which was great. I was picking up empty glasses and and I was serving drinks because you have to be 18 to serve drinks in Ireland. And I got to work my big brother, Scott, who came to work with me too so we worked two jobs together there and another place so in Ireland there are these crisps or chips as you might call them in America and they're called Tato and Tato opened up a park with roller coasters and stuff like that so I got to work there which was really really great but I got in trouble I was giving out free ice cream to the staff because we used to be allowed to do that and I got fired (laughs) so I never got any more free ice cream nor did the staff and I had to leave that job which was not so funny but I thought I'd put it in to get you guys to let me know better so I was in college of course as well which was great I loved college I wasn't sure what I wanted to do when I left school but I loved parties and I loved planning so I thought that I'd be a party planner so there's me having my little party with balloons and stuff college was great I made so many friends and I'm still in contact with them now because I actually didn't finish my degree I dropped out when my big brothers started a thing called called YouTube and this is how it all began so they were in college themselves and they were doing games development and they started up a YouTube channel and they called it Little Lizard and then there was Tiny Turtle as well and they were doing so good and they asked me to join them as the first girl in their series and I was so excited and that's when Little Kelly came about so the skin I chose for Little Kelly was picked so quickly on a day it was crazy and I then it became such a staple that I was Little Kelly and this was like the really beginnings of my life I feel it was so crazy different from anything that I did but as I was starting this as well I started dating someone and I know that doesn't really look like Sharky but that's meant to be Sharky also known as David and we fell in love straight away and it was so cute we had a great time being together and we decided that well with (laughs) tiny turtles advice that we should move in together so that's us in our apartment block three months into the relationship we moved in together which is crazy quick but we had a great time and then in the november of that year which was the same time around david's birthday we decided that we got buttons yes we got buttons straight away and we had a great time so we were less than a year in a relationship we had an apartment and we had a dog of course i hit a million subs as well which was all down to you guys which was so exciting one of the best things that it's like most accomplished thing that's ever happened to me i was so proud and then we got bruno as well so that happened after this is a very bad picture of bruno i'm so sorry bruno if you're watching this that's meant to be bruno but we got him as well and we were so happy of course as well Well, we moved into our new house, which we're still in to this day and we're renting and we're super happy and it's super big and there's a nice garden in the background for the dogs to play in. And I forgot to mention something really, really special. In all of this, of course, because I started going out with David and little Carly is like going out with David's brother, I met little Carly and she is the one who's helped me get through all of this I mean I I don't know where I'd be without Elsie she is the best and we are like best friends and we do everything together but I forgot to put that in in the other bit I'm leaving things out but it's okay so now guys I am happy as Larry living in a house with my boyfriend who I'm drawing a little bit better here with his beard with David we're living together and we're super happy working away on our channels we all we both have multiple channels which you should go subscribe to by the way we've got our little doggies that's meant to be Bruno I think and that's meant to be buttons oh my goodness I'm so bad at drawing and we're happily in love and we're a super happy family but who what is next to come i don't even know it could be maybe a wedding if sharky ever proposes um or it could be i don't know 
It's kind of crazy. It's down to you guys what happens next in my life. Let me know in the comment section what you think I should do next because I've had a great time and it's been amazing. And this is the end.